Hi guys. So, in this video, I want to show you how I uncap the FPS within the editor, so I can monitor performance more accurately. So, for example, if I've got a project here and its baseline is maybe running at 300 FPS, but it's capped at 120. If there's a dip in the performance, I don't really see it until it drops below 120, and then by that point, it means I've got to go figure it out. But there's a couple of ways you can go around doing this. The first one, which I'm going to show you, is actually using the tilde key to open up your console command. So I'll get up um, on screen keyboard. So, yep, yeah, cool. Just run this in. So, just this key here, it's just a tilde key. It allows you on your keyboard to open the console command in Unreal. Where we can actually write t dot max fps. I just hit it up on the arrow key, I can select it. And then I can press equal. And then I'm just going to set it to an insane number. So nine, 999 will basically uncap it. And then when I hit enter, you can see that the project is actually running at almost 350. Too fast, I can't see it, probably. So it's running at about 300 FPS. So if I'm doing stuff in here and it drops by 100, I won't, tell, won't be able to tell because it'll still be telling me 120. But the issue with using the console command is it doesn't actually save. So if I do save all, anyway, close it down, and I load this project back up. Cool, so there. So I've, I saved it, I loaded it back up, and it's still back down to 120. So this means that every time you do use your FPS, or you've got to use that console command, you've got to do it every time you turn on your, your you start up your project, which is kind of a pain in the ass, especially if you forget. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can actually use the project settings to change this. So all you need to do is go to edit, project settings, and we're going to scroll down to general under the engine. So we've got general settings, and now if we scroll down in here, we actually have frame rate, uh, frame rate that we can control. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set it to use fixed frame rate. So if I hit tick, you'll see now, because it's set to 30, we're actually capped now at 30. But what we can do is we can actually just do the same thing and set this to 999. And you'll see, it'll just try and go as high as it can. It's, it's basically the same thing. But now if I was to close this, if I do file save all, now if I close this down, so control shift H, just to get a frame rate. So you see now we've loaded it back up, we now have our uncapped FPS and it's still there. So hopefully this helps. If you if you're liking or enjoy these quick tips. Just let me know down below and I'll look at making more of them. But if, um, if you want to jump into our Discord, I'll link it below. We've got a few people over there. We're having a chat and talking about how we can do quest development, that kind of thing. Just more general VR. Uh, help each other out. But um, yeah, if you're new, I highly recommend subscribing and possibly liking the video. It just keeps you up to date with what's coming. And then hopefully we'll start getting a few more of these, these out. And help you guys out with some videos. Excellent. Bye.